Hello and welcome to this new renewal service brought to you by St. Matthew's Anglican Church in Etobicoke, Toronto for Friday, January 22nd. This is our time to pray together for God's life-giving spirit to renew ourselves, our church, and our world. My name is Jeff Bonner. I'm the Family Ministry Associate at St. Matthew's. I'm also a life-professed Anglican Franciscan with the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. So, as has been our custom, today will be a bit of a Franciscan Friday, drawing on imagery and prayers from that tradition. Remember, in these times, we are not alone. Our prayers do continue to blend together as sweet-smelling incense in the presence of God. And we continue to be the Church through the Holy Spirit, whether we are together physically or not. Feel free to join in any of the singing and prayers as you wish. I will read both the leader and all parts. Please join in for the all as you are able, either silently or out loud. I'd also invite you to light a candle now as a symbol to help you devote this time to prayer and to God. If you need a moment to get one, just pause the video and then press play again when you're ready. It's also common in many spiritual traditions and has been our custom here to take a, a moment at the start of prayer to pause and consider what it is we desire from God for today. If you're feeling tired or stressed, then perhaps you desire peace above all else. Or if you're burdened and tempted to despair, then perhaps a special grace of faith is desired. Or maybe you just want to spend this time praising God and thanking him for the goodness that is in your life. Whatever it is, take a moment now to quietly express your desire to God for today. I invite you now to join me in prayer and worship, both here and in all your church throughout the world. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our hymn for today is Where Charity and Love Prevail. The lyrics will be on the screen if you want to sing along or else just sit quietly and let the song speak to your heart. Carrying forward our psalm for today is Psalm 31, verses 1 to 5, which we will read responsively by the full verse. Feel free to join in on the even verses which are in bold. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. 
be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. As we prepare now to hear the Gospel of Christ, I invite you to take a few moments to prepare your heart to hear God's Word. Ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you through the Word. Pay attention when certain words or phrases or images stick with you, and be open to finding yourself in the story. Today's Gospel reading is taken from the Gospel according to Luke in chapter 12, verses 4 to 12. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that can do nothing more. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him whom, after he is killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight, but even the hairs of your head are all counted. Do not be afraid, you are of more value than many sparrows. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they bring you before the synagogues, the rulers and the authorities, do not worry about how you are to defend yourselves or what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that very hour what you ought to say. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I invite you now to take some time to reflect on the gospel passage we've heard today, either something that has occurred to you or these points to ponder that I have prepared. In today's passage, Jesus speaks of suffering in the world, but affirms that God is always with us, never forgets us, and that we have value to him. As you read these words from Jesus, what feelings or thoughts come to you? And as a further affirmation, Jesus counsels us to trust in God, that when we face difficulties, he will be with us to show us the way and give us the words, if we'll trust him. But how do we develop such trust? Do we read his word and seek his will regularly enough in good times to be ready for the difficult? Take as much time thinking about the gospel passage as you would like. Just pause the video and then press play when you're ready to go forward. Today, the church remembers Vincent, a Spanish deacon who suffered for the faith around the year 304. He was arrested with the Bishop of Saragossa, a man named Valerius. Because Valerius stammered, he often relied on Vincent to give the homily on his behalf. When the two were brought before the Roman governor, Vincent turned to Valerius and said, Father, if you order me, I will speak. The bishop responded, Son, as I committed you to dispense the word of God, so now I charge you to answer in vindication of the faith which we defend. Vincent spoke and held back nothing, either in his defense of the faith or in his condemnation of paganism. The governor was enraged by the deacon's effrontery. He sentenced Valerius to exile, but ordered Vincent to the horrors of the torture chamber. For several hours, Vincent endured the worst torments that the ancient world could devise. In the end, his body surrendered its life because his spirit refused to surrender Christ. 
Vincent's endurance caused the church to stand in awe of him and to recognize how he came by the strength that he needed. In the early 5th century, Augustine of Hippo told his flock, if you were to consider Vincent's martyrdom nothing more than human endurance, his act is unbelievable. But Vincent ceases to be a source of astonishment once you recognize the power to be from God. And now let us join with Vincent and all the saints through the ages to affirm the faith of our baptism with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us turn now to God with prayers for ourselves and our world. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray to the Lord saying, Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for day of fulfillment and peace. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to teach us to love others as he has loved us. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord for peace and justice in the world. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to strengthen and relieve those who are in need. Lord, have mercy. Let us ask the Lord to renew the church through the power of his life-giving spirit. Lord, have mercy. And let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. Lord, have mercy. Remembering Vincent de Saragossa and all the saints, we commit ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. And now we'll take a quiet moment to add our own prayers and petitions to God, lifting the names of those you wish God's love and mercy for, either silently or out loud. Trusting in his love, we pray to God. Lord, have mercy. And all this we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. I invite you now to join me in the prayer commonly known as the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, Make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. The collect for today remembers Vincent de Saragossa.
God of boundless compassion, who made your holy beacon, Vincent, a worthy partner in the sufferings of Christ, strengthen us to endure all adversity with invincible and steadfast faith, that our assurance of your saving justice may vanquish all dangers that assault our bodies and all wounds that would harm our souls. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And let us pray as our Savior himself taught us. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And finally, pray with me this prayer of benediction, commonly known as the fourfold Franciscan blessing. May God bless us with this comfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships, so that we may live deep within our hearts. May God bless us with anger at injustice, oppression, and exploitation of people, so that we may work for justice, freedom, and peace. May God bless us with tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, and war, so that we may reach out our hands to comfort them and turn their pain into joy. May God bless us with enough foolishness to believe that we can make a difference in this world so that we do what others claim cannot be done. Amen. This ends our formal time of prayer together. I hope you have found the time spiritually filling. If you do find these services helpful and you haven't already, click subscribe on our YouTube channel. If you'd like an email reminder about these services, contact our office at the email address there on the screen. And if you have any questions of faith or would desire prayer, or just more information about our church, please visit our website at www.stmats.ca. Until next time, may God bless you and keep you safe. <laughs>